If it sounds too good to be true, it probably is. That's the warning from investment fraud experts as a new report shows a massive spike in the money lost to scams right here in Oklahoma. Fox 25's Tom Ferguson has got your back with what you can do to protect yourself, Tom. Wendy, the State Bankers Association here says fraudsters are moving faster than we can keep up with them. But there are red flags you can look out for. The promise of a quick buck can lure unsuspecting investors into scams that drain their bank accounts. The Miami-based Carlson Law Firm compiled numbers from FBI data. According to the firm, Oklahoma saw about an 82% spike in money lost to investment fraud from 2022 to 2023. The average amount lost per case, over $90,000 in 2023. The total reported losses, over $19 million. And that's just what we know about. Many cases go unreported, according to Chase Carlson. And it's a huge jump. We saw it all over the country. And the reason is because of the rise in cryptocurrency fraud. The urgency. The only way you're going to make any money on this deal is to get in on it right here, right now, and I'm the right person to guide you. There's always a sense of urgency um, or the deal's going to go away. Crypto ATMs like these often carry warning labels to raise awareness they can play a role in scams. Sharon Lewis with the State Bankers Association says watch out for hacked or fake social media accounts posting about making cash fast or reaching out to you. Carlson recommended meeting investment brokers in person to verify they're actually real people and not fraudsters, many of whom are based overseas. We've had a ton of clients who did lose their life savings. And um, as you said, I mean, it's completely devastating to these people. Some of them are able to get it back, but many are not. It's just a, a sad state that we're in right now, and I don't see it getting any better anytime soon. Artificial intelligence also playing a role, using deep fakes of celebrities or billionaires to tout fake investment opportunities. You can verify if you're dealing with a real licensed broker by checking on FINRA's and the SEC's webpages. And money lost in scams like these is often gone forever. That's why Lewis says awareness and prevention are key in tackling the current situation. Live in Oklahoma City, Tom Ferguson, Fox 25 News.